Hi everybody, here's Christian from Teamwork Cast. And I am Darth Putty of the Teamwork Cast. Oh, you're turning dark, Nick, you're turning dark. <laughs> this is CCG Archaeology, and this is another unboxing of a young Jedi starter set. Uh, a game that has been become very popular uh, with me and some of my friends because it's like a very nice little uh, CCG that's very easy to learn, you know, I guess for young players, but it's also like very fun, very, you know, quick paced. Um, it is from, uh, so this is Battle of Naboo, Naboo. starter set, the third starter set. Uh, and it's, this is from 2000, April 2000. So this See, is the last. I, I like you guys playing these light games because, I mean, at least this isn't Love Letter Star Wars. Yeah, you know, no, it's it's way more complex actually. And there's there's some strategic gameplay to this. It's very much combat focused. So you know, uh, there's uh, so far we haven't seen any cards that do like trickeries Man. and stuff like that. It's very much about you know, I have my guys, you have my guys. We're gonna mush them together and see who if wins. If only every thing we opened was a starter deck. My, that was especially especially smooth <laughs> for me uh, right now. I'm, I'm usually so. I have uh, the other starter set here, um, the second one to compare this. Uh, some weird things going on in packaging. So this is green here. So usually the the face of of uh, Ewan McGregor always is co colored differently. But on the back, this time around, the the bad guy is also colored differently. That's kind of weird. Ah, uh, Naboo. Because because he used to be only red, but now he's green. I don't know. It's some some kind of. This Maybe is a I mean graphic design thing that I find two tone printing is often uh, more expensive. Maybe they were running out of money at this time. Nah, this is four C. I'm pretty sure this is four C. You think so? Yeah, because there's like yellow in here, and yellow is. Ah. I guess it's not. I don't know. So yeah, we get a, a, a booklet here, and again, this booklet is customized, so it actually depicts. It's the same text, I guess, that you get in other booklets from other starters, uh, but the cards that are depicted are actually the one that that come with a set. So this is really cool. That is, uh, yeah, the layout guy needs work after all. Oh, oh and now you get old Juan Kenobi. Yeah, that's cool. You get the same guys, basically, but they're slightly different. So this one is Jedi Negotiator. <laughs> I have a unique set of skills. <laughs> no, that's the other guy oh, who dies. Oh, oh. <laughs> so again you get like two uh two decks that you can play against each other these are not i guess tournament legal decks yet because they're 30 card decks uh but they're compatible with each other they're also like balanced against each other they are not randomized you get always the same decks in every starter and you get a dark side and a light side deck so you, you know you can just buy one of those and play immediately with a friend and try it out i recommend you to try this is very cheap and something really great on the go uh, yeah, so I miss. I haven't seen this one yet. This is the f first time I unbox this, and I ex completely expect basically the same cards that I saw in other stuff. Blasters. Uh, so this guy cards. has the same stats. I, uh, uh, by complete coincidence, I have the cards from the second uh, starter that uh, with me here, and just to show you that these are really the same cards, with just with a slightly different color tint, and I guess they have slightly <laughs> different abilities. Pictures, uh, but. Uh, different pictures, yes. So this is the from one from the second starter. This is one from the current third starter, and it's really the same stats. The only difference is that this one is boosted when he's played uh, on Naboo location, and this one is boosted when he's played on Coruscant locations. And that basically, I think, will apply to all of so those guys. So, can here. you have like three Obi Wan's running around? Yes, the idea is that when you have multiple Obi Wan's, and that's depicted by this this uh, multi multiple border icon here, okay. uh, that means that they stack on top of each other. Uh -huh. So um, it's basically as if uh, Obi Wan gets like multiple attacks uh, in each turn. Hmm. So yeah, you have Obi Wan. We have of course some beautiful Naboo locations here because this is Naboo centered uh, center expansion. There's basically three fights in every game, no yeah. matter which kind of starter you have. And so you start at... at um, I like Naboo because it's not like sand. A s s s small interruption here by an other inhabitants of this dwelling. Uh, so yeah, the, each uh, game takes place on uh, three planets. Starts on... Um, geez, I forgot again. What's the d desert planet? Dune. Tatooine. No, Tatooine. You know what? Then okay, just it. think about it this way. Tatooine is like sand. Naboo is not like sand. And this is how... Uh, young Anakin Skywalker decides who he loves. Ah, that makes sense. He yeah. does. So he doesn't love love sand because it gets everywhere, right? It gets everywhere. Right? Orifices, mm. cracks, mm. mouths. Mm. I know that problem. Man, why didn't you wear a still suit? 
<laughs> Maybe she did have one on, and it's just mm. different. I don't know. Anyway, so it takes on three planets, and actually you can decide in which which order it takes place on. So even if you're playing with those customized decks that are, you know, focused on this specific planet, which is on Naboo here, you have to still visit the other planets, which is a bit stupid because you don't have any cards that interact with those other locations. So it's kind of like, especially when you have the starter set, it feels incomplete. You're motivated to get the other starters, or at least some... Um, some uh, boosters. So yeah, we have a Gangan warrior, Nick. He's a ve- ve- veget- battle. Okay. <laughs> He's a veg- vegetarian, a uh, veteran. <laughs> uh, which, uh, there's, by the way, we are completely ignoring this, the flavor text, but they're amazingly dull. When in trouble, Gangans go to sacred place. Like in their wait a head? minute, wait a minute. I have to, you have to say it with a Jar Jar voice because <laughs> it's a Jar Jar quote. <laughs> I want to hear your Jar Jar voice. Come no, on. I don't have a Jar Jar voice. It's got to be as good as my Seth Rogen voice. <laughs> <laughs> We're in trouble. <laughs> Gangas go to sacred place and stuff, man. All this weed. Yeah, all this weed. <laughs> <laughs> oh. When in trouble, Gangas go to sacred place, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. So yeah, uh, I have been confirmed. My suspicion has been confirmed. So this is the card that boosts your basically run-of-the-mill warriors in this set. And the run-of-the-mill warriors are Gangans. So you get a Gangan Diplomat and a Gangan Warrior. And you get a Celebration card, which boosts both of them. But uh, again, there is no cross-compatibility here. It's it, it, the other starter sets have other uh, run of the mill warriors, so they have other cards to boost them. So you have to add different cards there, so there's no less synergy in the in the in the Jedi version of Man. the starter sets. CCG folk love that word synergy too. Mm-hmm. Synergy. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, great. Oh, man, this is amazing. Oh, no. So there's uh, some additional synergy here because look at this. Um, so these are your cannon fodder guys. Uh-huh. These are the one strength guys, which previously was uh, this weird, you know, this tea faced sh- kind of guy from the cantina. Yeah. Remember this guy? The and these are Gangans. Guy. Yeah, the hammerhead guy, and then the Gangans. So all of the three can be actually boosted this time around with a, with the booster card. So nice. there's a, there's at least some some additional synergy going on here. So that's nice. That's nice. Synergy. Not only the CCG guys love synergy, but also you know the guys, the business guys, all love also synergy. Mm, business. I like that. Uh, there's different blasters. Is this blaster sitting on like a pile of dead Gungans? No, this blaster thing is part of dead leaves. Oh. But it's uh, it's kind of weird that you have like a different... Because it's the same blaster that you get in other starter sets, and it has uh, mechanically the same blaster. So I wonder why they reprinted it. Gotta use all other pictures, man. I, I guess. But they have to be custom pictures, because I not, not don't remember this blaster being like in any frame in the in the original, in a, in a, in a film. Like, do you remember a film I, where you actually show I, I try not to remember these movies at oh, all. Oh, that's true. So you get some Coruscant cards, even though you don't have any kind of cards that get boosted by Coruscant. You get some Tatooine cards, even though you don't have any cards in here that are boosted by Tatooine locations. And, man, I, I'm so... Oh, this is so bad that they have this one. Like, this, this is such a horrible scene in a movie. Ugh. Uh, this is a celebration. <laughs> <laughs> and then hold this stupid <laughs> sphere. <laughs> Try to evoke, like, an important scene from the original trilogy and failing horribly. Blah. This totally isn't uh, some sort of colonialist thing. No, not at all. Not We're at not all. a tribal culture. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so this is Darth Maul, even Sith Lord. So again, Darth Maul is from the... Again, the same same numbers here. Uh, Naboo Palace. Mm-hmm. That's a, that's, it was, you know, that's one, one of the shots from, this, from the trailer which, where you went like, Oh, Yeah, because like, oh, look at all those waterfalls. Jesus yeah, Christ. Man. This is going to be like an amazing movie. And it's like, oh... You know, oh. I, I will say when they go back to Naboo in uh, Clone Wars, it, that play, those episodes are pretty fun. Yeah, I watched uh, a couple of those. They're fun. I probably will. I guess I will wait until I have kids and then maybe I'll watch them. What? Clone Wars isn't for kids? Uh, right, Nick, right. That's not. No, it really isn't. It's dark. <laughs> it's dark. <laughs> yeah. Uh, here's a, So here we have your run of the mill guys from Dark Side. These are robots, as with all the starter sets. And you again, you get a card that boosts all robots. So this also applies to 
the other droids that from the other Star Wars sets. Look at all that copying and pasting in that card. Control C, Control V. Oh, I missed a spot. Control V. Yeah. Control V. Uh, your Ken Fodder guys are different ones. You get a Nemodian advisor. Totally not racist. No, not not at all. He's completely not a uh, Jew, space Jew. Uh, blaster rifle. Oh, so you get like sand people with blaster rifles. Nice. 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 And Han Solo's blaster somehow. Uh, and then you get a uh, Coruscant, a uh, beautiful view in Coruscant that you don't get to, uh, that doesn't interact with your cars, and a beautiful uh, Tatooine Mos Espa location. A bunch of droids, your run of the mill guys. And your can for the guys, more Naboo locations, and more stuff, and more stuff, and more stuff. All right. Roger, roger. Roger, roger. So these are the Naboo location cards. Now, this is an interesting thing because, you know, um, this is where deck, deck building starts. Ugh, almost dropped the cards here. This is where deck building starts because um, in the previous starter sets, you could just uh, combine two starter sets with each other, and you would have a viable deck without any kind of deck building. You just mush them together and it's done, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but once you get three, all three starter sets, you have to make choices suddenly because you kind of have to only pick and choose the individual cards. So what are the restrictions for deck building then? Uh, I already talked about this in the first opening, but I'm going to uh, reiterate this. So you have like a little dot here. Ah, okay. And uh, so there's like six dots, six possible dots that you can have here. And you can only have 10 cards for, with a given dot. So I only have can have ten cards with a red dot. I can only have ten cards with a uh, purple dot. I only have ten cards with a green dot, and ten cards with a yellow dot. So this is basically how you do deck deck building. You just um, you just really just count the dots, and that's it. And you can only have exactly sixty cards. There's not not less, not not more. So exactly ten. 10 cards from each uh, individual dot color. Oh, well, that's fun. It definitely is a CCG with training wheels, but I think those training wheels yeah. are interesting. Yeah, they're good. They're well done. And again, uh, I really like this because, you know, with a lot of the CCGs, you go like you go through like those arcane rules where it's like, oh, and how does that work? How does that work? And, and you know, it takes a lot of, lot of learning until, to, you, until you get start playing. And with the Young Jedi, it's like, it's, you can almost immediately start. You don't. You don't have to even like because the decks are pre-constructed, and because you get two sides from a starter set, you can start playing immediately and just try it. It's really nice. If it only was with the old trilogy, because then especially episode one is just such a such a pain, Nick. Such a pain. Well, I would say we could play the uh, the, the the living card game for Fantasy Flight, but I understand that game is not no is no bueno. Well, uh, it's, it's kind of uh, it's going out slowly, but let's see about that. All right, guys. So this is going to be a Young Jedi. Uh, if you have experience with Je Young Jedi, post it in the comment section. I would love to hear from people who actually play this in their youth. Uh, and of course, uh, we're gonna soon soon show you uh, a gameplay. We're gonna show uh, games where we use those cards to actually play this game, and you will see how nice and fast paced and simple it is. It is uh, is Young Jedi on Octagon? I don't think so. I haven't seen it, but maybe it is. That would be great. I would love to try it on Octagon as well. I wonder if DBO has has, has done that one too. <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, but yeah, maybe we can get our, ourselves on, on Octagon. It's, the rules are not that difficult. All right. All right, guys. So we're going to leave you and see you next time when it's time for CCZ Archaeology. And we're going to put this into the museum. We've got to put it in a museum. It belongs in the museum. <laughs> it belongs in the museum! <laughs>